A message from the management. Eating and drinking while viewing these videos is not advised. Please be aware you do so at your own risk. Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here, I'd love it if you stayed and subbed. Go to sleep and what happens? Two fucking videos pop up and I've still got tons to catch up with. Anywho, Sephora Spring Event Recommendations Haul and Favourites. I sent uh, in chat messages thing to um, Sephora and I said, are we getting a sale like America? Two days. Nothing. And then they come back and they, oh, Make up, make sure to sign up for emails to be the first to find out when anything fun happens. And it's like, why is it such a big secret? It's not a secret in America. And then I got a message another two days after. How did you rate our response? And it's like, you don't want to know. Anyway, shall we jump in? Hey guys, today I'm partnering with YouTube Shopping. To give you my Sephora beauty event sales picks. Now, I what's YouTube shopping? Is this another thing you can earn money from? Fuck's sake! Thirty-one thumbs down for this. None of them are mine. I don't know why I'm looking for someone saying something against it. Because she'll have deleted them all, won't she? What is YouTube shopping? Anyone know? I'm quite overwhelmed because I have so many things that I think are my favorites that you can save on. I have a haul to share with you and then I have some latest favorites that I want to share with you. So in case you didn't know, I've pulled up the dates here for the whole time. You oh, are you in time for this? Where are we? April the 4th. Hang on. <laughs> I get so confused with your dates. 4th of the 5th. 5th of the 4th. Right. 5th of April to the 15th of April. And today's... The, so she was on time. Wow. You get 30% off the Sephora collection, but the Rouge members get 20% off April 5th through April 15th. VIB, 15% off. You get to shop from the 9th to the 15th. And then Beauty Insiders shop for 10% off from the 9th to the 15th. Now to become a Beauty Insider, all you have to do is go on their website and sign up. I use this so much. Matter of fact, today, I will show you what I got and I picked up several good items like hair sets with my points. You get faster shipping. You get a lot of perks when you sign up as a beauty insider. And I'm assuming if you're here with me, you probably have a thing for beauty, hair, skincare, fragrance, things like that. Like I said, I'm partnering with YouTube Shopping. So everything I mentioned today will be down here on the screen it should be a little picture that you can push and shop those links i know a lot of you have been doing that i think it's easy in a way because you don't have to leave this platform so with youtube shop the real deal you can click those pictures down below and shops oh my gosh you can see i've been making and how much do you get out of it what's your kick pack for youtube shopping there has to be one once again, you're not being open about what you're actually doing, are you? In a list, let's get into some kind of older favorites that I've been loving. And I'm not going to show you every single product because I want to fit as much in here as I can. I will try to put product pictures in here. Okay, Tarte Pearl. The Shimmer Tarte Lip pearl i think i did bring it out here because i brought out my lip combo this is just amazing it gives every lip combo a little bit of glisten a little bit of moisture and lightens it a little bit now the lip liner i have on i thought about you guys because so many of you were saying that you couldn't find lancome ideal this is very similar this is urban decay liar it is a mauvey brown it is perfect it lasts a long time this is also what I have on today. 
And then I think for the last few years, I've been suggesting this. You're wearing liar. Mm -hmm. I'm saying nothing. Lipstick, which is the Anastasia Tease. They have one called Haze that's lighter, but I like Tease the best. And that is the lip combo that I have on today. The Mario palette that I just got. So what is she saying? These pictures, click on these pictures and we can buy the thing, can we? Let's see what happens. That is the cooler. Nothing. Neutrals. It is just so good. I know, you know, neutral palettes are neutral palettes, but they're not. All of them have a different tone, a different blendability. Some of them are just too powdery, too cakey. These are perfection. Now these are something new that I have used today and I used it yesterday. It's two new palettes from Too Faced. It's a neutral cool tone palette and then the warm ember palette. And when you look on the website, you'll see they get great reviews. This is the one I used, but I don't think that this is too warm for me. I'm going to use this too. These are right around $25. Oh, I thought you were warm. You used to use everything warm. Have you decided now that finally that you're cool toned? And where's the thing I can click on? Where's the clicky thing? There's no clicky thing. So a good deal for some really good shadows. My favorite foundation, I mean, it might end up being my favorite foundation of all times. It's the Hourglass Time. Ambient Soft Glow in shade eight. Now that is something that you'll have to find your best shade, but it's not only the shade that I love so much, it's also the coverage without being cakey. It lasts all day, it photographs well, I feel like it looks good when I do videos for my life. It is my favorite go-to foundation. Another latest favorite has been this whole line of Mill Oil Control products. This is the loose powder. It's what I have on today up under my eyes. And then I use what's left to set the rest of my face. And I have on the primer. Didn't bring the primer out here. I'm almost out of my primer. Now I did get the spray. But the bottle clogged up, that's a deal breaker for me. My bottle, I know I can run it under hot water. I can put it in another bottle, all that stuff. There's too many good things out there. So maybe it was a fluke. Maybe I'll try it again. But this is my second thing of powder. And I think it's still my first thing of primer because I go back and forth from uh, glowy uh, primers to mattifying primers. But if you want a mattifying, this is good. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury blushes. I know. See this clicky thing? There isn't a clicky thing. You said there'd be a picture and then click it and you go and you get the thing. Of course you fucked it but up, haven't you? They are not a new thing, but they are special. They just really are. Pillow Talk and Climax are my favorite. Today I have on Climax. I love it and now is a good time to shop all Charlotte Tilbury and get that percentage off. Along with her new lipstick, Icon Baby. I love that one. Every time I wear that, you guys compliment me on that. It's a nude. Let's go through what no, I just no got. Shit. I just got this great. Is it a nude, really? You wearing a nude lipstick? No, that can't be true. Tell me it's not true, Lisa, that you wear nude lipstick. God, I'm bored already. Big box yesterday. It was so good. Okay, you know I'm on a hair adventure which i've been doing i think pretty well with and i've been using i mean you guys and it is bizarre crazy but wonderful how many hair products i have tried and i'm going to do a video on which ones i think are best but i need to use these systems a little bit more with that said i did order the guerlain i didn't even know this existed until i was on the website this is the um, I'm going to say Abel Royal Scalp and Hair Revitalizing and Fortifying Care Shampoo. And then I did get the conditioner, the dual conditioner. And I used it last night. Now, can I say it worked any miracles? Of course not, because I just used it. But it lathered nicely. You know, it felt nice. It combed out like a breeze. It was just really nice so far. So this is something that I'm trying and it would be nice. Because it's from Guerlain. If it was Tresemme and it did the same thing, you wouldn't say that, would you? It's all about how much it costs and what the name is. 
You're a label whore, Lisa. Admit it. To be able to try things like that at the 20, 15, or 10% off. And now you can shop the real deal here on YouTube, and all of those things will be, I don't know if they'll be right here or right there, but they'll be down in the corner. Another great thing to get at a discount would be this Orbe Hair Alchemy line. They're this not anywhere. Look. Restorative. Click. Hair Nothing's care happening. Line. It's the Resilience Shampoo, the Resilience Conditioner, and the Fortifying Treatment Serum. I have the full size of these, but I got this for travel because I have a lot of traveling coming up in the next few months. Oh, and lucky I you. can go ahead and tell you this is worth trying, especially if you can get this little set. Another thing that I have tried that I really, really like is this Gisu hair oil. I just, I love it. Every time I use it, I have never used it and it made my hair too oily. It always does exactly what I want it to do. Another product I am loving is this Orbe Gold Lust Heat Protection Spray. Now I am someone who likes to use my heat protectant. I actually use it in the products that I use on my towel dried hair. And then I want something extra. Each, <laughs> each piece. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. The lid just flew off. <laughs> That's going to be the highlight of the day. She'll be telling that story to everyone she meets. Oh, you'll never guess, Mama. I was making a video and the lid just flew off. It was so funny. <sighs> Shows what a fucking boring life you have when you're fucking laughing your ass off at a lid dropping off. I don't, I don't get it. That I... Oops pull out I like to spray it notice how dry that spray is and it has that fabulous Orbe scent you can actually get this in a fragrance I will link that down below too but this is just so good I spray each piece I use my favorite of all times no time when are you going to learn nothing else beats it no other curling wand better than the Dyson air wrap in my opinion my favorite curling product wand iron of all times is this dry bar wand and I think about it when I'm using it like why do I always come back to this why is it my favorite I think there's many reasons first of all you can adjust the heat so I put it on 330 and I think the fact that I start my wrap at the top and then I go to the end. Well, the ends of my hair are so much thinner. Even though it looks tapered, you really get a pretty uniform curl because your Who's big thick piece is up here on the thin. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but if you use this, you probably do. Plus, this is the biggest reason. It comes off. It comes off of the wand. I don't have to panic and like, pull out the wand and you know freak out it just all i have to do is like do like this a few times and it just comes do like what what do you do how do you get it off explain to someone who's never used a curling wand oh you just do like that what it's right off the wand the plating is so smooth and it doesn't feel like it's very damaging and most of all my best hair i've ever had the healthiest most glamorous healthy long hair has been using this so i am a believer and i think it's something you would all enjoy no matter how long or short your hair is okay i'm just going to be i think i'd enjoy it you think i'd get no matter how short your hair is do, 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 do you think it'd curl mine all over the place just because in order to do this thoroughly i'm going to have to be this is something I did order. It's the Lawless Beauty Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Tint. Why does someone that have has lip injections need a lip plumping anything? Please explain that to me. Mid Balm Stick. I have not used this yet, but just wanted to show you I got it to try. Okay. If you hear a crazy barking sound, it is the Basset Hound. Next door, he's behind us. His name is Tucker, and he does that howling, I think, when he wants to get back in the house. So, we could be hearing that for a little while. Okay, this is the... Oh, 
small, slight, passive-aggressive dig at the neighbours for not letting their dog in quick enough. Because nobody notices these things. Nobody notices it. Only me. <sighs> She's such a nice lady. Yeah. The Kerastase line that is, you know, for rebuilding, for damaged hair. I just brought this one piece out here. I have the whole line. This is another one that I can pretty much recommend. It's going to be in the top five for sure, if not the top three. This is the reparative pre-shampoo treatment. It's good. It's good. And this one actually emphasizes getting like calcium and hard water buildup off of your hair. And I did notice that Sephora has a shower head filter that you can get now to filter your water. If you are like I used to be when we rented a house before we built this one and they didn't have a water softener. Or if you rent an apartment or a townhouse or something like that, you could get that shower head and filter a lot of that out. But I really like this too. So if you can get 20%, 15%, even 10% off of things like this, it would be a good time. I did with my points get these, the Augustinus Bader shampoo and conditioner so i'll give this a try and let you know how it goes okay now let's dig into fragrance a little bit I what's with the voice let's dig into fragrance a little bit we've tuned into the porno channel have we i got something you guys it's beyond it is brook and i tried it yesterday when i got it and it just made me happy all day long it is the new Sun-Kissed Goddess by Killian. This fragrance is like the perfect summer scent. We sprayed this box. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, is there tuberose in it? It is just gorgeous. I've already put something else on. I'm going to show you, but I cannot help it. It is just perfection in every way. It's got some... Why don't you go and stand out the back with Tucker and let John spray you from in here? What is the point of that? You're going to spray it. Fucking put it on. Coconut in it. I believe it might have some frangipani. It's got a little deepness to it. It's beautiful. This is what I'll say. If you like bronze goddess, you're going to love this. Now, if you are more of a wood sage and sea salt type girl and you don't like the pretty beach scents, you like more of the salty or fresh, clean beach scents, this isn't going to be for you. It this is going to be for you if you are a sun-kissed goddess. If you are... Like you think you are. Just in your sun-kissed feminine feeling this is going to be for you. Now I wrote down some other ones that I feel that way about too because that one is quite high dollar. That's why. High dollar. Look for all you peons that are watching me you can't afford to buy this perfume so I'll give you the cheap options. Fuck off looking down your nose at people that you know fuck all about. It's good to get it now. Let me go with the ones that I feel like are on that vibe that really pretty beautiful just bronze goddess type vibe i would say the Aaron hibiscus palm that is one when i put on i feel so elegant so summer beautiful you know what i mean it's just just gorgeous juliet has a gun vanilla vibes vanilla vi juliet needs a gun vibes is kind of in the middle i call it beachy because it's that vanilla there might even be some coconut. It's just really, really good. It is for more of your in-between, fresh and beautiful floral. It's kind of straight down the middle. Now let's go with straight Bobby Brown Beach. That will always, When's the always, clicky thing gonna always work? be in my collection. I have worn that for so long. Like my daughter Brooke is 24. So I've probably we worn know. it that long. When she smells it, she thinks of her childhood. That and Bronze Goddess. That's how long I've been wearing those. Okay, the Replica Beach Walk. That is another one that is beachy, but I would not say it's just gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's elegant, like the Killian Sunkiss Goddess and the Hibiscus Palm. 
and Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. Those are the ones that will just make you feel beautiful and sun-kissed and like you are on a tropical vacation. Bobby Brown Beach will make you feel like you're at the beach and so does Beach Walk. Vanilla Vibes a little bit too. Okay, another one that I wanted to tell you about is this one. I showed it to you a few months ago and it may seem like this would be a fall winter. Does she even actually use any of the fragrances she's got? Every time she holds a bottle up, they're full. Fragrance. This is a signature scent. I put it on today. This was my first fragrance I put on. It's the Coco Mademoiselle Low Privé, and they describe it as a night scent for behind closed doors. Many people are very, very, very into fragrance, and they have a night scent. They have a bedtime scent that they put on after the shower. I will say the Moroccan oil body spray is good for that. But they put something like this on just to go to bed. Isn't that fabulous? <laughs> Isn't it? I may start doing that. But it means... How much perfume have you got and you don't put any on after the shower? I put perfume on to go to sleep. Because it makes you breathe deeper and you go to sleep quicker. Because you're smelling the fragrance. And what they said about after hours, it was for rumpy pumpy time. With God, she's dim so that it is a lighter scent. So if you're someone like me, who has always loved Chanel fragrances and the idea of Chanel fragrances, and just that sophisticated and. scent, but they were a little too heavy for you, maybe you live in a humid climate like I do, and you didn't want it to be overpowering and overpower the people around you, this is it. This is sexy, sophisticated, wealthy woman, living her best life here this is just i mean it, this could be your signature scent every day all that's weird i got a comment the other day saying how jealous i was of you because you were living your best life funny that huh they every occasion it is beautiful okay and now we're going to round it out with one of my latest favorites and i'm gonna spray this too because Oh my goodness. Okay, this is Tom Ford Vanilla Sex. This is better than Vanilla Vibes. This is Vibey Vanilla. I would say Vanilla Vibes is too. This is your sexy, cool girl, just go-to scent. It can be worn all year round. It can be layered. It is beautiful. I cannot imagine anyone not liking this, but you know, we all have different days, thank goodness. So those are <laughs> definite recommendations. Okay, now let's go into what's in my cart because I always have a cart going at Sephora. Twice this has happened to me. It happened to me one time at my local Sephora here and then it happened when Brooke and I were in Florida. The girls would look at my points and both of them said, that's the most points I've ever seen. <laughs> because I do shop at Sephora a lot and I don't spend my points a lot. I save them for good stuff like this. Like this is the Bumble and Bumble set with the thickening plumping mask, the heat shield, you know, things like this. I'm really into like these a little bit more because I just know I have a lot of travel coming up, but I shop a lot and I always have a cart going when I'm watching videos. Okay, so the first thing I have in there is the Patrick Ta She's Sculpted. That is a sculpting powder and cream that go together that is very cool toned. Now, a little feedback on the Tom Ford sculpting highlight that I got, Intensity One. I think that is good for you if you have drier skin. It was a little too emollient for me. So I'm going to give this one a try. The Refi Lip Liner in Taupe, which is now gone viral. It is a TikTok favorite. I gave mine to Brooke. And it looks so good on her every time she comes over that I'm going to order another. And boy, you had it. You didn't like it. You gave it away. And because it makes Brooke look good, you're getting it again. But you're not a narc. No, of course not. Smells. If you know me, you know every time <sighs> I do a just a favorites, a fragrance video or a Sephora recommendations video, I will usually recommend boy smells. 
But when I was thinking about it this morning, I was like, well, most of my boy smell fragrances are more of that boyfriend, vibey, jazz club, tobacco, you know, those type of scents that aren't as much geared for the spring and summer. But they have a new one called Rose Load, and it sounds like a good one. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I loved Rose scent. It just has to be just the right one. It cannot be a powdery rose. It has to be a rose mixed with some things that keep it from being too bathroom soap smell. You know what I mean? Like that Byredo is just amazing. Okay guys. Oh, and I had a few more things. My Dyson hair dryer. I but you just said your yellow tong thing beats Dyson. So why are you... Oh, for the clicks. I think it is worth every penny, every penny. This would be a good time to get it. My Aki hair turban towels. I use one every night. I get it out, put it over the shower. I dry off in the shower, get most of the, you know, dampness out of my hair. Then I put it in that turban and I leave it in there while I'm doing my skincare. And then I take it out and then I'll squeeze all of the extra moisture out of my hair and I leave it there and I still use it the next morning, like for my hands and everything. I just love them and they're not cheap. So this would be a good time to stock up on those. And they also make great gifts because who wants to spend that much money on a hair towel? But if you gave someone that fancy hair towel and then like... A it's not fancy though. There's millions of fucking hair turbans out there that you don't have to spin through the nose for. But of course, you, you couldn't possibly have a normal one, could you? No. I want to make everything special. A little hair kit like this. What a great gift. Easter baskets, all of those things. So I hope that I have mentioned something or you have seen something that you are excited about. I think it's a great time to stock up on your favorites, like foundation, Oops, like sorry. brow gel. You know, the things that aren't as much fun to buy, but we use over and over the Benefit Professional Spray, things like that. And I want to thank YouTube Shopping Program, Shop the Real Deal, here on YouTube for this opportunity to partner with them for the first time. I thank you for all of my opportunities and for being here. And I why is it at the end and not the beginning? And you fucked up the YouTube shopping real deal thing because nothing clicked. Dimwit. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you, Brooke. It's about time you put the cat back. Oh, I love how you've put the cat when you've got the, the nipples in the background. Wonderful. <sighs> Oops, wrong button. We made it to the end. Woo! -hoo! Chocolate womble time. <laughs> I will see you in the next one.